Good evening. Good night. Hello, good evening. Okay, welcome everyone. I hope you had a good day today. And I hope you are ready. Are you ready? Yes, go. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. All right, the last time we were practicing this, right? And I remember some people were describing routines. Routines, that's something that we were discussing yesterday, right? Some routines. Okay, but as I told you, now we're going to continue with this conversation practice, okay? So, let's begin. 
with the blanks. Let's complete the sentence. There we have the um, ideas. The first one, yes, he is, he loves it there. And the example, no, I'm not. I'm living in Singapore now. Yes, we are. We really love Miami. Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, they aren't. They're living in Atlanta now. So let's read the conversation and tell me the best option to complete the conversation. Kathy and Martin. Are you still living in Miami, Martin? No, I'm not. I'm living in Singapore now. Wow. Do you like it? What's the best answer for this? Do you like it? Yes, we are. We really love Miami. Yes, I do. Espero no vaya a estar sucediendo como el otro día. Esperemos que no, chiché. Porque viernes ya no hay clases. Y... Yes, exactly. Let's see. Um... So the first one, yes. I do. I like it a lot, right? That's the one. And is your brother still working in Seoul? Yes, he is. He loves it here. Yes, he is. He loves it there. Or here there and how about your parents are they still living in florida no they aren't they they're living in atlanta now okay no they aren't they're living in atlanta how about you and your family, Katie? Are you still living here? Yes, we are. We really love. Cool. Yes, we are. We really love Miami. That's good. Okay, now let's practice. Who wants to practice? Two volunteers. Katia Veronica. You are Katy, Katy. Martin. Who wants to be Martin? Nobody. Only one. Okay, Hazel. You are Martin. Go ahead, Katia. You are Katy. Are you still living in Miami, Martin? No, I'm not. I'm living in Singapore now. 
Wow. Do you like it? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. And is your brother still working in Seoul? Yes, he is. He is. He loves. He loves it here. He loves it here. And he loves it here. And how about you? Your parents are they still living in Florida? No, they aren't. They're living in Atlanta. How about you and your family, Katie? Are you still? Yes, we are. We really love Miami. Thank you very much. That was good. Thank you. Okay. Um. Next, I guess Luis wants Luis Antonio and one more. Okay, Griselda. So, Griselda, you are Katy and Luis Martin. I say Katy, verdad? Yes. Okay. Are you still living in Miami, Marty? No, I'm not. I'm living in Singapore now. Wow. Do you like it? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. Ah, and your brother sleeps working in Seoul? Seoul. Seoul. Seoul? Yes, he, is, he loves it there. And how about your parents? Are they living in Florida? No, they aren't. They're living in Atlanta. How about you and your family, Cari? Are you still living here? Yes, we are. We really love you, Miami. We really love Miami. That's okay. Miami. Nice. Miami. Someone else? You are tired today. <clears throat> you are very quiet. <clears throat> More volunteers? Christian and Alberto. And... Rosa Irma. Okay, cool. Are you still living in Miami, Martin? No, I'm not. I'm living in Singapore now. Wow, do you like it? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. And is your brother still working in Seoul? Yes, he is. His lover is there. And how about your parents? Are they still living in Florida? No, they are not. They are living in Atlanta. About you are your family, Kathy? Are you still living in here? Yes, we are. We really love Miami. We really love Miami. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. There was another person I don't remember. Uh, Rose, Rosa Irma Flores. And Jennifer Elizabeth. Okay. Okay, Jennifer, you are Kathy. And Rose okay. Martin. Okay, coach. Uh, are you still living in Miami, Martin? No, I am not. I'm living in Singapore now. How do you like it? 
Yes, I do. I like it a lot. And is your brother Ty walking in Seoul? Yes. Seoul. Seoul. Uh, and now about your parents, are they still living in Florida? No, they aren't. They living in Atlanta. How about you and your family, Cari? Are you still living in her? Yes, we are. We really love Miami. Perfect. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Someone else. No, okay, let's do another exercise. Now, we are going to read the sentences and now you are going to choose the best option. Simple present or present continuous, okay? Number one, for example, this is my cousin, Martin. He, and you are going to use the verb in parentheses. He lives in Houston, but he you have to use visit in simple present or present continuous. What do you think? Um, teacher, no sé si sería visited. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me more options. It says he lives in Houston, but he he is visiting Peru this summer. Oops, there is. Yes. Este es mi error. But he is visiting. He is visiting Peru this summer. He is visiting. Um, okay, I'm going to correct. Lo voy a corregir luego. Pero si es continuous. He is visiting Peru this summer. Let's continue. He he is taking cooking classes there. What happened? It is... Yeah, that's correct. Let me, I'm going to correct that. Give me a second. I don't know why. I'm going to correct it. Give me a second. And let's see. I hope the rest are correct. Okay, there we have again. Mm -hmm. So the first one was let's see. He's visiting, right? And he's taking cooking classes there. Those are the correct ones. Uh, number two. And these are my parents. They working, coach. They works. 
They are working. They work in Paris this year. They are working. They are they, working. They are working in Paris this year. Mm -hmm. They. They are big. No. They are. They're big. Big. They are big. They are big. 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 Being being no. They are on vacation right now. Yeah. Only are they are they are on vacation right now. <laughs> Number three, here's a photo of my grandparents. They, they are work. not work now. They, they, they are working. They are not, they aren't uh, <laughs> working yeah. now. Next. They are retired. Okay, uh huh. They are retired. Oops, I repeat retired. Four, this is my sister in law, Amanda. She wants, she wants to start, she wants to start her own company. She is studying business in Australia right now. She's studying business in Australia. Yes, very good. Five, and this is my nephew, George. He... He goes to high school. He goes. He goes to high school. Sounds good. In this case, he goes to high school. He goes to high school. Mm -hmm. He's going to high school. He's going to high school. Uh huh. Yeah, but. Probably simple present sounds better. Mm -hmm. But he's going like to high school. I mean, él está asistiendo. Él está yendo. Al, al, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's going to high school. Next. He. He likes history. He likes history. But he. Chemistry. Repeat, but he doesn't like chemistry. Ah, okay, okay. That's correct. But he doesn't like chemistry. That's correct. Okay. Reading practice. Boomerang kids. Two short paragraph. Who wants to read? Who wants to practice? One paragraph, two paragraph. So two volunteers. Katia, the first one, and Paulina, the second. Okay, Katia, read the first paragraph, please. Boomer and kids. Okay. Today in the United States, many young adults are returning home to life after they graduate from college. They are being called boomerang kids. Like the Australian hunting stick that comes back after you throw it. Many college graduates can find the jobs they <coughs> They want right straight away. 
some someone some also have college loans to pay back. They don't have enough money to rent expensive apartment apartment. So they go back home to live with their parents while they live at home. They are working as jobs with low pay and try to save money for the future. Uh -huh. And trying. Let me probably this is better. Okay, the second paragraph, please. Meanwhile, the parents are of boomerang kids are feeling the challenge of having their adult children back home. Most understand the problems their kids are having with money and accept that, and accept that they are living with them again. But their relationship they relationships are different now. Some parents expect their kids to keep following their rules and to keep and to help around the house. Young adults, on the other hand, want to be independent and to make their own decisions. This creates tension between parents and kids. These boomerangs go out as kids, but they come back as adults. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Someone else? More volunteers? Okay, Griselda, the first one, the second. Today in the United States, many young adults are routine how to live after the graduates from college. They are very kind, roaming kids, like the astronaut. Urting is that they come they after you from it. Many college graduates can feel the job they quite like Hawaii. Some also have called long to pay back. They do not have a no money to rent expensive apartments so they could be buy home to live with their parents will they live at home they are working at john with low bay in dry to save money for the future, the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Next, please. The second paragraph, Hazel. Okay. Then will the parents of boomerang kids are feeling the chain of hiding the their adult children back home must understand the problems their kids are having with money and and, and accept Sit. that they're living with them again but their relationships are different now some parents expect their kids to keep following their rulers and to help around the house. Young adults, on the other hand, want to be independent, independent. and to make their own decisions. These created stations between parents and kids. These boomerangs go out as kids, but they come back as adults. Thank you very much. And Luis and Sonia, first and second. 
Go ahead, Luis. Today in the United States, many young adults are returning home to live after they graduate from college. They are being called boomerang keys, like the Australian hunting stick that comes back after you throw it. Many college graduated can find the job they want right away. Some also have college loan to pay back. They don't have enough money to rent expensive <clears throat> apartment, so they go back home to live with their parents. While they live at home, they are working at jobs with with low pay and trying to save money for the future. Perfect. And the second, Sonia. Meanwhile, 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 the parents of women, women and girls, are feeling the challenges of having their adult children back home. Must understand the problems the kids are having with money and accept that they are living with them again. But their relation relationships, relationships are different now. Relationships are different now. Some parents expect their kids to keep following their rules and to help around the house. Young adults, on the other hand, want to be independent and to make their own decision. This greatest tension between parents and kids, these, these boomerangs go out as kids, but they come back, but they come back as adults. Adults, they come back as adults. Thank you guys. <clears throat> Thank you very much. New words, new vocabulary in this paragraph. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación? Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Mientras tanto. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Mm -hmm, yes. More? In the first text, uh, in the part says, many college graduates can find the jobs in la tercera línea. Uh -huh. They want right away, so also have college loans. 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 Préstamos. <clears throat> Many college graduates can find the, the jobs they want right away, de inmediato. Some also have college loans, Pre o créditos, préstamos, colegiales, loans. Mm -hmm. More? More words? Why? While, mientras, while, mientras, ellos no. viven en casa. Teacher, is la que está después de, sí, sería iniciando esa última parte, sería why, they live at home, they are working at home, at just with low pay and trying. Esa. Trying. Trying. Intentar. Dice, they are working at jobs with low pay. Ellos están trabajando en empleos low pay, con bajo salario. Low pay. And trying to save money. E intentando ahorrar dinero para el futuro. With low pay. Con bajo salario e intentando ahorrar dinero. Try, 
El verbo try, intentar. Trying, intentando. Trying. Mm -hmm. What else? Something else? More words? Um, en el segundo párrafo, la fila no sabe En la cinco. Eh, donde se va de esta relationships. But their re relationships. 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 Significa... Relaciones. Okay. Pero sus relaciones son diferentes. Relationships. Mm -hmm. No more. Having or is having? Where? Está en la segunda línea de la, del segundo párrafo. Meanwhile, the parents of boomerang kids are feeling the challenges of having their adult children back but, home. Having? Having. Uh, the parents of boomerang kids are feeling the challenges. Eh, los papás de los niños boomerang están sintiendo o percibiendo los retos de tener sus niños ya adultos de regreso en casa. Tener, el verbo es have. <coughs> los retos de tener. Uh -huh. No more. Okay, so let's do the exercise. This is reading comprehension. Lectura comprensiva. Now try to remember and check true or false. Boomerangs, boomerang kids are college graduates who don't want to live at home. True or false? False. false. It's false. Yes, it's false. Hasta ahora la leí bien y yo la puse que era verdadera, but it's false. Boomerang kids are college graduates who don't want to live at home. It's false. Yes, it's false. Mm -hmm. Number two, many college graduates are having a difficult time finding a good job. True. That's true. College graduates who live at home can't save money for the future. True. True. This one is false because if you remember, justo lo que me preguntaron, they are trying to save money for the future. They try. Mm -hmm. They try. They are saving at least something. Four, parents are seeing that it can be difficult to have their boomerang kids live at home again. True. true. That's true. Five. Parents want to do everything for their kids like they did when they were younger. Mm -hmm. 
True. True. Mm -hmm. True. Thank you. Six. Parents and kids mostly agree about the rules and expectations of the house. False. And that's false. Very good. Okay. And now, uh, let's see. If you remember in your book, there was a different reading. The reading was about family. Do you remember? And what are we going to practice here? We're going to practice quantifiers, quantifiers. But before the grammar, let's practice another conversation. So, oops, oops. Okay, those are the quantifiers. Who wants to practice? Marcos and May Lee. Who wants to be Marcos, Katia, and Luis? Okay, Luis, you are Marcos, and Katia, you are May Lee. Um, I'm going to read it first, okay? So you listen to the conversation, I mean, to the pronunciation. Teacher. Yes? Teacher, so the no, creo que es la imagen porque son capturas las que yo tomo del manual para pasarlas acá. Y de hecho el manual que yo descargo no es el de ustedes, pero mi manual así está, todo borroso. No sé si, si ustedes tienen el, el, el suyo, ustedes lo tienen. De ahí lo podrían leer si lo tienen. Pero sí, el mío, mi, el que yo descargué está borroso. Por eso se ve así. Pero, let's try. It says, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Mainly, actually, I am an only child. Really? Yep. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get Lots of birthday presents. Hmm, pero así como recibe tantos, también tiene que dar muchos. No, that's not good. Okay, so, eh, Luis, you are Marcos. And mainly you, eh, Katia. Try. Espero que sí logre ver. How many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child now, nowadays. I didn't know that. <laughs> what about you, March? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? 
Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Katia? Okay. Oh, no. Sorry. 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 I thought it was the other person. Good. Only, what is an only child? Un solo hijo. Solo un hijo. Hijo único, right? Mm -hmm. único. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Sony, I guess. And yes, teacher. You are May Lee. Someone else? I'm teacher. You are May Lee. I need okay. Marcos. Who wants to be Marcos? How many brothers and sisters? Give, give me, give me mm -hmm. a second. Give me a second, porque aún no tengo. Okay, uh, Paulina oh. is going to be May Lee. Thank you, Paulina. Yeah. Yes. How many? How many brothers and sisters do you have, May Lee? Actually, I am. Uh, I am only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China. Have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday parents. Presents. Birthday presents. Nice. Thank you very much. And that was really Present. good. Sorry. Really good. No more. I guess you are very quiet today. Someone else wants to practice the conversation. Camila and I need one more. Someone. Someone, somebody, please. Okay, hey, so thank you very much. Um, okay, you start, Hazel. You are Marcus. ¿Quién empieza? Hazel. Oh, okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Maylee? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child, no one else. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get 
lots of birthday presents. Thank you. That was good. Okay, in this case, if you notice, quantifiers. We're going to practice quantifiers. What are quantifiers? This, check this. There you have quantifiers. And from the top to the bottom, we have 100% and we have 0%. So we have all, nearly all, all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, few, no one. Um, all families have only one child. Or the rest, nearly all families, most families, Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families, some families. Then we have not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few, few couples have more than one child. And no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one means nadie. Zero percent, right? And then we have a hundred percent old. Means everybody. Todos. Y así viene descendiendo. Todos. Casi todos. La mayoría, en este caso sería todas las familias, tienen solamente un hijo. Casi todas las familias. Luego, la mayoría de familias. Then we have many, muchas familias. Eh, a lot of families. Some families. You know, some, algunas familias. And not many, no muchas. En este caso, no muchas parejas tienen más de un niño o hijo. A few, a few couples, unas cuantas parejas. Okay. And we have few, pocas parejas. Okay. And then no one, nobody. Those are um, the quantifiers, right? What we usually use. Now, if you remember, let me see. Try to pay attention or I'm going to show you another one. Let me show you a different, this one. Mira, mi gran. No. Check this. If you remember from 100 to zero, all means um, everybody, right? No one, 
Okay, so there you have. Let's try to remember. Number one, all. Number two, nearly all. Nearly all. Another one, must. Must. Another one, many. Many. Another one, few. A lot of. Some, some. Some, porque acá creo que acá no están todos. ¿Ve? Some. Number six. Few. Few. Mm -hmm. That's it. All the ones that you have there. All, nearly all, most, many, some, and few. Obviously, um, this is not very or perfect, right? Tal vez los únicos que, que en verdad tienen el porcentaje sería todos, all, que sería el, el 100%, el 100%, all. Y el 0%, el 0%, que es no one. Esos dos siempre van a ir. Pero luego... El resto, el, el porcentaje no es exacto. Y es, eh, ahí, ahí puede variar. No es que en verdad el nearly all vaya a ser el 95 y el most. No. Esto es para darle una <coughs> aproximado, ¿no? Pero ahí eso varía, ¿ok? Y luego vamos a hacer los ejercicios. It's time for the attendance, ¿ok? Uh, we're going to do some exercises tomorrow. And obviously you already practice that on the platform, right? And you finish. So let me take the attendance. Alma Patricia. Present teacher. Ana Guadalupe. Camila Lisset. Cristiana Adalberto. Present teacher. Doris Emilia. Present. Estela Marisol. Present. Eva Alicia. Griselda. Present teacher. Herbert. Thank you. Have it, you have it. Hazel. Jennifer. Present teacher. <coughs> Jose David. Present teacher. Jose Luis. Here, here teacher. Joshua. Here, teacher. Thank you. Carla Patricia. Here. Katia Veronica. Thank you, teacher. Liliana. Present teacher. Tonight. Luis Alberto. Present teacher. Luis Antonio. Nidia. Jamilex. Present teacher. Nuria, yes. Nuria Mayeli. Oswaldo Stanley. Present. Paulina. Present. Rosa Irma. Present teacher. Sandra. Present. Sarina. Present. Sonia. I'm here, teacher. And Tatiana Maria. Okay, guys. Stephanie, finished. Thank you very much again for your participation and attendance.
okay? Enjoy your dinner and have a good night. I will see you tomorrow, Thursday, the last class. Oh. Good Thank night. You Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.